welcome to our next Aurifil Color Builders block, the pangolin. Now, I have a confession. I had to Google what a pangolin was this month, but I learned something very cool, and that is that pangolins have these armor-like plates on their bodies, and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity this month to teach you a few basic things about ruler work, all right? Now, just a little note before we begin, last month I showed you some continuous curves that were free-handed, that used a glide foot, that makes it a little bit easier to go over some bulky seams. If you have trouble going over your bulky seams, you may want to use a glide foot and freehand these curves. I, however, am gonna use a ruler work foot. We're just gonna give it some grace if it's not perfect because of those seams um, and enjoy the opportunity to see a little bit of a ruler work technique demonstrated. Now, a couple quick notes about safety before we begin. First, do note that I have a ruler work foot here on my machine. It has these high metal sides all the way around, so my ruler can't bump up against it, all right? Next, this is a quilting ruler. So it is a quarter inch acrylic in thickness. So again, it's not gonna go under or over that foot and end up under the needle. That would be very, very dangerous. I personally am using Natalia Bonner's Piece and Quilt uh, four-in-one ruler. It happens to be my favorite. I love the way it fits in my hand. And I'm gonna be using this sharp little scallop side over here as we begin. All right, I'm gonna start right here at our little pangolin's face. And when we are doing ruler work, it's important to remember that our ruler adds about a quarter of an inch, or our uh, foot adds about a quarter of an inch on either side of our ruler. So what you saw just there is I was lining up the scallop, so at least my first scallop will be nice and pretty here, right? Um, I've done a simple meander in the background of this quilt. You may want to add a little bit of stitch in the ditch after we are done with these scallops, but we're going to focus on this scalloped shape together. It's going to be interesting because this is going to be um, an odd set of shapes to be scalloping, so I anticipate uh, them to be a little bit freeform in their placement, all right? Now, when I'm working with my ruler, um, I usually either work with it off to the left um, or I'll work with it in front. I could work over to the right side because I have a very large throat space, um, but most machines are not gonna have enough room over here. And I do not like to put my ruler at the back very much because it's very hard to see what I'm doing and the shape of the foot at the back means it's less even, all right? Now, as we get started here, I've made sure you've got a nice close up view. I've positioned my ruler in front and I'm gonna anchor my hands on this quilt and go ahead and start guiding my foot around. Now, you may observe I'm doing a little bit more effort to move this foot than we would really like. Um, that is because of those thick seams. So just know at any point you could switch to freehanding this if you prefer. Um, but it's a nice opportunity to practice a new technique if you're not familiar with the ruler work, all right? I'm going to use my ruler to create scallops all over the body of our pangolin because they are quite armored up little dudes. In order to do this, simply move your ruler across and then trace around it with your ruler foot, being careful to keep your ruler foot up against the acrylic and keeping your fingers clear of the needle. Now you may be able to see a few places in this video where I definitely struggled with some of these bulky seams. So if you struggle as well, know that you are not alone. Here I've stitched in the ditch in order to travel up and continue with this method. And you know what I really love about doing this ruler work together today is that it's a perfect size of project to try out a brand new skill. Now that I've finished making the scallop shapes all over our pangolin, it's easy to see that there's still plenty of room to add some more quilting and a little extra personality. I'm using the stitches I've already created to trace my way back around our pangolin together and add a little swirl in the center of each of these armor plates. Just adds a little bit of personality and pizzazz. I am also going to stitch in the ditch around most of our pangolin to help him stand out from the background so that by the time we're done, he's got a whole lot of fun texture sitting against this simple background so that his personality and your newfound skill at ruler work can shine. on a new skill 
and add a little flair to your adorable pangolin. And just like that, you can practice a new skill and add a little flair to your adorable pangolin.